Remember that time when Chrissy Teigen went on Twitter and asked her fans if she could borrow some brown bananas? And then she released her banana bread recipe that is now our banana bread recipe because we all helped her get her brown bananas. I finally decided to try this recipe and man, it is good. So let me show you how I did it. These are all the ingredients you're going to need for the recipe. I will also list them down below so that you know exactly what you need and what direction you need to go by. First, you need to preheat your oven to 325. Then you need to, of course, the key to a banana bread is to get those browned mashed bananas. I then put in the oil. Next up, you have to put in four eggs. So I cracked that egg, then I cracked this egg, and then I cracked another egg. And when you think you're not done, you gotta crack just one more egg. Makes it so good, and fluffy, and dense. So mix all that together. That's gonna be your wet ingredients. Mix, 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 and mix. Then you're gonna add another key ingredient, the vanilla pudding. Yes, this is crucial. Add your sugar, because you, you need sugar for banana bread, duh. Then you add in your baking soda and salt. Whisk that all together. Add in your wet ingredients. Keep on adding that. Then you're gonna just fold in the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients. Pretty dang simple, right? Toss in your coconut. This is obviously optional with the chocolate chips. You can add in whatever you want, but I had to do what Chrissy did. You fold that ooey gooey goodness in together with those toppings. Doesn't it just look so dang good already? Trust me, it gets even better. You spray that pan with that pan. You coat it with the flour because you want to make sure that doesn't stick. Because that's the worst when your bunt sticks to the bunt pan. Now you just need to evenly disperse your masterpiece. and. You gotta turn it over because it's a very thick batter and sometimes it's hard to do with just one hand. And then you know, just slightly admire your work because it is so beautiful. Now you're gonna just toss that masterpiece right into the oven, let it bake, and then when it's done, let it slightly cool and then pop it out of the bunt pan. And there you go. It's just so beautiful. Once it's a little bit cool, cut right on into it. And Chrissy says it is best with the pure Irish butter on top, so I did what she said. And let me tell you, she's not wrong. It is so, so good, so moist. Look at that bounce back. Oh yeah, baby. Smother that butter, and it's good to go. I had to go and get another piece because my boyfriend just had to try it. Slaving away in the kitchen all day. Now I get to taste... Mm, mm, mm. Best thing I ever made. Best thing I ever made. Mmm. So moist, so crispy on the outside. With chocolate chips, give it a very nice, nice flavor. And the coconut gives it great texture. I am so impressed with this recipe. And what I'm even more impressed with was was it was how a little, 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 can't speak. How quickly it was to make. No mixer needed, little amount of ingredients. I've made banana breads before, and it takes a long time. And that took a really short amount of time, and it was really cool to put it in a bun pan. That might be the key, or the vanilla pudding. I don't know why I'm even trying to figure it out. It's just so dang good. It's mm, mm, mm.